Good morning. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm here in my uh, laundry room with Emma. Say good morning. Good morning. I'm getting ready to wash the last um, day's worth of cloth diapers and I thought that I would show you our routine. So here it is. So like I said, in here we have, um, I think there's about nine diapers plus their inserts. Um, and I just need to do for right now the pre-wash, which is um, basically just a regular wash cycle, but without any detergent. If you go to fluffloveuniversity.com, you can actually look up your specific washing machine and see what um, settings they recommend for both the pre-wash and the wash cycle that you need for your specific machine. They also have um, a detergent index and it will tell you how much for your specific detergent that you prefer to use it, you will need for your wash. Um, I have the Maytag Bravos XL and uh, I will tell you what settings they recommend. Fluff Love University recommends that I use the power wash cycle rather than the rinse and spin. Um, rinse and spin does it as a water saver uh, rather than an actual like full rinse. Um, I prefer not to use the power wash. I don't feel like it does as good of a job as just the regular normal wash cycle. So I use the regular normal wash with hot, I do the soil level as extra heavy and I do extra um, extract. I also do an extra rinse because I really want to make sure that we start washing with actual detergent with as clean of a diaper as I can get. So we're getting ready to do the um, actual wash with detergent um, cycle and this is the type of detergent that I choose. Um, I got a really good deal on it. Otherwise, I typically would probably use Tide Free and Clear. But this is Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin, and it is free and clear. Okay, so the wash cycle just completed, and what I'm going to do now is take out all of the inserts and put them in the dryer, um, and then take all of the covers and hang them to dry. Okay, so here you can see they are all hung up um, inside out so that the print is on the inside. And this one you can see there's a little bit of staining, um, but I bet you by the time, probably by tomorrow, I'll leave it here to dry for two days um, because I do have enough that I don't need these tonight. Um, I'll let that sit there for two days and I bet you that stain will be gone. So these have been waiting here overnight. Um, this is the one that had a pretty bad stain on it and you can see it's faded quite a bit. Um, I'll probably leave it here for the rest of the day, but the rest of these will, they're looking pretty good. Um, so I'll stuff them and put them away. So I just finished our wash routine with about yesterday's diapers that you saw. Um, we, I don't think I mentioned, we do mostly pocket diapers, which if you're new to cloth diapering, it just means that there is like a little hole in a pocket. You put the insert in and they are pretty much ready to go. I choose to do the snaps for the rise before I store them so that they are as close to a disposable diaper as possible. Um, so you can see she is on the middle rise. So... I just take this little button and put it there and it is ready to go. And then when I'm done in, uh, stuffing it, I just put it behind me in this little organizer and we're ready. So the two different um, inserts that I have that I really am liking are, this one is my favorite. It is the Naturally Nature Charcoal Bamboo Insert from Amazon. Um, it's just a flat. It is really, really absorbent. 
and um, it does perfectly for like during the day when she's only wearing the diaper for a couple of hours at a time. Um, I like them so much that I ended up ordering the same exact material, but this is from Anma Baby, which was also on Amazon. Um, but this one has gussets in the middle so that it kind of is supposed to give a little bit better of a fit. I still like them for the absorbency of it, um, but they, I, I don't enjoy the gussets as much as I thought that I would. I think if I were to have just a shell that is not a pocket diaper where this was actually against the baby's um, bum directly, I might like that better just because I feel like it would get back into um, like her rolls a little bit better. But for a pocket diaper, this is not my favorite. Um, this one is. And then at night, I double stuff the nighttime diapers. This is one of the inserts. I'm not entirely sure what it's made out of. I want to say this is maybe bamboo, but this is from Nora, my Nora Nursery Diapers. It is just the one that came with the covers. Um, and so what I do is I lay them together. And this one I will put on top. So when I put it into the diaper, I make it so that this one would be closest to baby's skin. Um, and I have found that that works out perfectly for overnight. I do not change her diaper in the middle of the night. Um, and it keeps her dry. It ke she wakes up and it's definitely full. It holds a lot, but we do not have any leaks at all with doing this double stuff method. And then during the day when I just use the one bamboo insert, um, we haven't had any leaks yet. Uh, and we change her about every two and a half to three hours. So these are incredibly absorbent and I highly recommend them. So with all of that said, I will show you how I stuff my diaper. So like I said, I like to put the tab down Put it in to the front of the diaper and then you kind of like do that with your hands on top of it inside of the pocket just to make sure that it's laying flat. Do the snaps. And then I fold it and make it look pretty so it's ready for the diaper bag or for the organizer. So it really is just that simple, um, especially with all of the resources that are out there online. Um, it is definitely not the cloth diapering experience that our grandparents had, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will get back to every single one of you. And if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.